The baseball in this problem is traveling to the right at 40 meters per second. When it's hit by a bat, sending it back the other way at 52 meters per second at an angle theta of 30 degrees above the horizontal. We'll call these the positive x and y directions. We're asked to find the horizontal and vertical components of the average force on the ball while it's being hit. We'll do this using the impulse momentum theorem. The impulse, capital J, is a vector equal to the change in momentum, which is also equal to the average force multiplied by the time duration delta t that the ball is in contact with the bat. This is a vector equation, so we can write the components x and y. The x component of the average force is the change in the x component of momentum, which is equal to mv2x minus mv1x divided by the time duration delta t. The x component of the final velocity v2x is shown here in red, so we can substitute the numbers after factoring out the mass. V2x is negative because it's pointed left. And it works out to minus 70, 50 newtons. So the average force has the x component directed to the left. We do the same thing for the y component of the average force. It's mv2y minus mv1y the change in the y component of momentum divided by delta t. And we can substitute numbers, factoring out the mass again. The y component of v2 is shown here. It's v2 sine theta. And calculating shows us the answer is 2150 newtons. So the average force is directed to the left and up.